and welcome to Darn New Gluten, where I share delicious gluten-free recipes with you guys. As most of you will know, this weekend in Belgium we have been celebrating the 200th anniversary since the Battle of Waterloo where Napoleon was defeated in 1815. So in honour of that, I thought I could make some little cakes that were inspired by the Butte du Lion um, and show you a little bit of footage of what Waterloo put on for the reenactment this year. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please remember to go to thumbs up and subscribe. Let's get cooking! The ingredients for the chocolate fudge that taste basically like good d'or chocotuff, if you don't know what they are, you are seriously missing out, are 180 milliliters sweetened condensed milk, 25 grams cocoa powder, 50 grams of sugar, 20 grams coconut oil, 30 grams chili pistachios, you can of course use plain pistachios or try any other nuts, just remember to weigh them after shelling them, and a lime tin that has been oiled. Place the condensed milk, the cocoa powder, the sugar and the coconut oil in a thick bottom saucepan. Place over a medium heat and stir pretty continuously until the sugar has dissolved. If you just let it sit, the bottom of the mixture will just bake to the bottom of the pan. Once the coconut oil has melted and the sugar has dissolved, you should have a smooth chocolatey mixture. At this point, add in the pistachios and stir them in. Return to the heat until the mixture is thick and starting to bubble. You should be able to leave a path with your spoon through the mix. You can now pour the mix into your lined container. I'll give you a heads up and warn you not to be tempted to push the last of the mix off the spoon with your finger. It is extremely hot and the burn will hurt a lot. You can leave it to cool at room temperature and place in the fridge for a few hours or even overnight if you can to set. For the Butte du Lion, I'm going to make little pistachio cakes. I'm making them in a mould that tapers towards the bottom so that they look like a hill when turned over. The ingredients you'll need are 40 grams of pistachios, again make sure to weigh them only after you've shelled them, 60 grams of caster sugar, 25 grams of tapioca flour, 55 grams of white rice flour, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, 1 teaspoon of maca powder, 30 grams unsalted butter, 1 medium egg, half teaspoon vanilla extract, a dash of green colouring, this is optional, 150 milliliters of milk, I use skim milk, and that's it. You're basically going to throw everything into a blender. First though, you can mix the vanilla extract and the green colouring if you're using it into the milk. Then you can start with the pistachios and sugar. Place them in the blender and blitz until you get a powder. It doesn't matter if you have a couple of pieces of pistachio, but try and get them as fine as possible. Then sift in the dry ingredients, the tapioca flour, the white rice flour, the maca powder, the baking powder, and blend together for a couple of seconds until nicely mixed. You can now add in the chopped butter. Blend together until you don't have any large lumps of butter anymore. You might need to scrape bits off the sides and then clump the butter from time to time. Add in the egg and blend until combined into a thick paste. Pour in the milk and blend together. It will be rather liquid, which will make the cakes a little dense and rather moist, but in no means will it be heavy, but feel free to diminish the quantities of milk, bearing in mind, less milk will make less cake. Pour the mix into your moulds and bake in an oven that has been preheated to 190 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes, or until a skewer comes out clean. Let them cool, then pop them out and turn them upside down. You might want to shave off the top, which becomes the bottom, so that they can sit flat. You can then peel off the greaseproof paper from the bottom of the chili pistachio chocolate fudge and cut out some rectangles to represent the plinth the lion stands on. Place the chocolate fudge on the top of the mound and they will stick of their own accord. To finish the cakes, I simply printed off some small images of the lion facing in opposite directions, cut them out and stuck two back to back on a toothpick that I then pushed into the fudge and cake. And voila, some simple little Butte du Lion cakes in celebration of the 200th anniversary of the Battle of Waterloo. And as promised, here's a little video to give you an idea of what went down in Waterloo this 19th and 20th of June 2015.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye!